stock as you can see, it's running an MI16 motor, which was originally from the 405. And it's a, a, a 1.9, but they do also do a 2 litre. Yeah, 2 litre with a steel block. This is a alloy block, it's a 1.9. Okay, engine wise, it's the bottom end's all stock, stock Spring pistons, stock, stock yep. on rods. Yep. But there's quite a lot of work done to the heads. Major head work, ported and polished, and everything you can fucking, everything you can do to it. Skin with an inch of an inch of its life. Yeah. You've got Omex throttle bodies on twin 45s. Yeah. And then an Omex 600 ECU. 220 fly horsepower on yeah. the on the dyno. On the dyno, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a lot of power for something that weighs as much as a Jacob. It's actually pretty healthy. Did you buy it with all the work done to it, or did you kind of put the MI16 in it? I brought it with the MI16. It was just standard, just running on injection. So I'd done all the head work, put the cams in, and then I totally resprayed the car, put the cage in, seats in. Shock absorbers all around. Yeah, fill steams all around. Uh, 306 rear beam, so it sits a bit wider. Is it a wider track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. in it. James has got like um, sort of alley door cards and um, obviously the cage in the back and all the all the rear interior, all the plastic trims are being stripped out. And then Luke harnesses, Luke harnesses keeps yeah. you nice and, nice and safe. Seats on a roll cage, not a lot of house. And you, and there's no no driver aids in these whatsoever is there? No ABS, obviously no traction control. No. It's literally just you, the manual five speed gearbox, however big your balls, exactly. your balls can get. And I must say, look, people when we drive past them, they literally stare at this car, they don't they? It. Everyone loves it. <laughs> because it was such a special little car that green thing it really smiles for miles yeah
Oxford today, look. It's Still got bad. over half a tank. Compared to your golf. <laughs> the golf's cheap. Funny enough, James is actually selling this car. Reluctantly. Yeah, he doesn't want to sell it, but like he said, he's got quite a few cars. He's got to try and clear them out. And you're going to be asking 10 bags for it. 10 bags and up. Yeah, so if you want to do an offer, or get in contact with him. I'll chuck James's Instagram down here. So if you want to send him a little DM, feel free. I'd say that wasn't wasn't bad value. Like you said, absolutely original ones going for like 20, 25 grand. Yeah. This has obviously got a lot of stuff like the MI16 and the suspension, the cage. It's got Probably a lot of parts. The list goes on. Yeah, it's a big spec, this car, isn't it? Five minutes later. What a car. Oh, I can't take, and I know you, sometimes you guys will watch a lot of these reviews and a lot of the people will kind of just say all the nice things to the drivers and compliment the car really when it's a piece of shit, but this really is a machine. So what horsepower was it before you had all the, like, the, um, the head work done and the, um, One, and the, the throttle 180. bodies? 180. 180s, yeah. So, so yeah. you're 40 up from where you were. Up. In this, it was just night and day. I yeah, picked it yeah. up and yeah, the, well, the guy said to me, he said, look, be careful. <laughs> it's not the car you brought in, son. <laughs> so, yeah. And you haven't got, like we said, I mean, yeah, it has got a cage and stuff, but you do, like, you've got to bear in mind these, like, it's there's not much to it. You know, the frames are very thin and the metal work's not huge, is it? So It's a tin can. It really is a tin can. It's such a contrast going from all that crazy sound to this serene it's location, quiet. very quiet, yeah. First things you can obviously note, Nardo Grey is an Audi colour. It's not a Peugeot original colour, is no, it? No, no, no. What colour was it when you first got it? Um, it's just like a metallic grey. Ah, okay. Yeah, just standard. You kind of kept the grey, just made it slightly, slightly yeah, yeah, different yeah. mix. The original 1.9 wheels on it. And you've done, what's that, is that hyd hyd hydro dipping? And it's got quite a crazy sort of effect if you look pretty mad. On the back you said you've got the 306 GTI 6, 6 rear beam yeah. and the brakes as well, calipers yeah. and discs. On the front we've got the GTI 6 brakes. GTI 6 brakes, 309 drive shafts, so they're sure they stick out a bit wider. Ah, okay, and there may be a little, I mean, do these have problems with like braking drive shafts and stuff or not, not really? I don't think so. You've got original fog lights, quite cool in the yeah, yellow yeah, yeah. as well. And it's nice. You haven't actually got any sort of body kit. The car is just completely stock as it came from the as haven't it came it, from the factory. The thing you haven't got to do actually to come over and run down the door. Ah, uh, yeah, because not and it normally has like a little um, a GCI badge or something there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Check and this is a proper bit of like dry, dry carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper, proper sheet bit of carbon. How much weight do you reckon that saved? I read it was like 90 kilos, but I can't see that myself. Even if it was like 20, 30 kilos. It's a lot in a very, very light car. Yeah. yeah. One point six badges. Yeah. It's a little bit, a bit of a trick that. Bit of a, yeah. It gets the lights, don't realise you've got an MI16 on throttle bodies under there. And these wing mirrors are always very cool with like the sort of, I don't know what you yeah. call that, but they're quite a nice sort of, nice design. Yeah, How big is the exhaust all the way through? Like Two, two three quarters, I think. Okay. Two and a half or two and three quarters. Because obviously bearing in mind naturally aspirated, you've got to be, you've mm -hmm. got to account for the back pressure. You can't yeah. kind of reduce too much back pressure. Yeah. I'll quickly show you guys underneath. You can probably just about see the uh, the Billstar and shock absorbers under there. Obviously, 306 rear beam, and that's the Magnex exhaust system. And in tyres, you were saying the Michelin Pilot, Pilot Sport, Sport Freeze, which has got kind of a nice sort of a middle ground between a you know it's a, it's a nice sports performance tyre as opposed to having semi slicks on it. Yeah. Um, the only problem with semi slicks is it's trying to get the temperature up in these. Exactly. And you imagine that on those roads today. That would have been <laughs> slippy. And you've got no carpets. You've got the flop dash stock GTI steering wheel. That's all your heater controls. I kind of flick them around, you guys can see what they're all about. They've got like a really sort of nice 1980s feel to them. We've also got a safety devices cage. I know it's the VTR I'm rocking at the moment. It's got a safety devices cage in it. Really, really nice bits of kit. So a bolt-in cage. One thing I'm going to notice as well is the angle of the engine. Is that quite a sort of big visual difference to the original yeah. 19 motors? Yeah, there's quite a tall engine, so they sit them back. And you were saying you've actually got you've got baffles in the in the sump yeah, around yeah, the pickup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windage tray and baffled sump just for in the corner, and you don't get um, like oil, don't get starvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your brother's actually building one of these, which has all got a dry, dry it's sump, like a mental mental setup. Yes, yes. And if he's watching, James has promised me you're going to bring it to me and do a sick car yeah, review. You're on next once it's done. Obviously, you've got the Omex throttle bodies. This yeah. is all the original, um, like the intake that came with the the kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got your bigger yeah. injectors. You've got yeah. a pipe across filter on the front, which is pretty cool. Little oil catch tank. tank. Obviously, inside the head, you've got the uprated cams. Five to eight cap cams. And that probably makes a nice, nice difference. And obviously, yeah. now you can rev all the way up to rev up to eight, eight grand thousand. Yeah. yeah. And it, it is quite crazy. It really does kind of sit back, doesn't it? And you were yeah. saying you just had a um, 
a sort of custom mount mate because you were getting problems with the exhaust yeah, cracking yeah, yeah. weren't you so there was one one mount wasn't changed so yeah we changed that mount put some shims in sat the engine forward a bit more so we're not getting no no more problems fair play to you no power steering <laughs> this is really look it's straight away it's got pinpoint accuracy like, you know i drive my shitty volvo every day and it's like very wallowy